Speaker number three. This speaker has not a clue what to do with his life. There's so many choices, but never the perfect one. Introducing speaker number three, Toastmaster Ben Hughes. All right, I'll ask that everyone please close your eyes. I don't see everyone's eyes closed yet. What was the best period of your life so far? What do you think will be the best period of your entire life? Do you have an image in your head? You may open your eyes now. With a show of hands, how many people imagined when they were a kid again? What about when they were in their 20s? Really, a lot of people want to be older than that. I'm surprised. <laughs> That's a lot to look forward to. <laughs> I just remember growing up wishing I was older so that I can do all these cool new things. When I was younger than 13, I wanted to be 13 so that I could watch all of the cool movies. Then I wanted to be 16 so that I could drive a car. Then I wanted to be 18, you get the right to vote. And then at 21, you can drink, legally. <laughs> a couple of days ago, I turned 21. Nice. Ironically, I didn't drink anything. Instead, I couldn't stop thinking about how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do with my life? <laughs> Who do I want to be with? Where do I want to be? Why do I want to do all that stuff? These are all questions I'm sure that you've all asked yourselves. Some of you have figured it out. Some of you are still thinking about it. But how many times have you asked yourself these same questions? Because it feels like every time I grow up another year, I ask myself the same questions and I get further away from the answer than I was the prior year. I don't know if I want to get married and I don't even have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so worried about my future that I'm missing out in the present. And it's hard because you try and get advice from many people but everybody's advice is going to be different because they all have different experiences that they've gone through in life. For example, earlier today, one Toastmaster said that he was happily married for five years, and another one said 50 years. Well, what am I supposed to do with that information? <laughs> am I supposed to get the mean, round it down, round it up? Get married. <laughs> First get married. And then there's another thing, is I hear a Toastmaster saying something about their second marriage. And I think, how can you make the same mistake twice? <laughs> <laughs> Self-torture. <laughs> Who do you look for for advice? Is there someone in your life that you always go to whenever you're not sure about something? For me, it's my family. I have a great dad that loves me and supports me, a great mom that loves me and supports me, and I have two siblings, a brother and a sister. They're all younger than me, so I have to be the one that gives them advice. But oftentimes, I just go straight to my parents and I talk to them, what should I do with my life? And that's the thing, is it's my life. My experiences are gonna be different than theirs, and I feel like at the moment, I'm not really living who I want to be. I'm just doing things because my parents think that's what I should do. Have any of you felt that way before? <laughs> it feels like you're trapped. In all of my life, I've lived in Winter Park, Florida, or right outside Winter Park, Florida and I feel like I've never quite moved away from the nest. I'm like a bird 
that has wings, brand new feathers, and I just haven't jumped yet. I'm not advocating a jump off a cliff, by the way. I'm saying <laughs> jump back. Metaphorically, do something else. So I've tried a few different things, a few different stints, if you'd say. And one of the different hobbies I've tried was I tried to do skateboarding. And I realized really quick that skateboarding isn't for me. <laughs> you know, if you don't have what's called good balance, you actually hurt yourself when you try to skateboard. Then I tried mountain biking. I like mountain biking. I'm not the greatest at it. That's why I get banged up a lot. But it's fun. I try to do different experiences. For example, last week, I went to my first ever concert. I listened to Tool, which is a great band. Yeah. And it was one of those experiences that I had never had before. I thought, it's just music. Why would you go pay a lot of money to watch other people play music? And it's a totally different experience that I would have never known about. So all I want you guys to come out with this today is go do something new. Try something that you haven't done before. Look at your future. Don't worry about it as much. And just enjoy the present. Thank you.